so I've seen all good people. This is the first part of it called Your Move. And this is the part that I always really liked. I mean, I like the second part too, but it's so different than the first part. I just really always loved this first section of the song. And we're in an alternate tuning for this. And it's not a guitar on the album. There's actually quite a bit of dispute about what the instrument is. It's a 12 string instrument. And uh, some people think it's a vachilia which is a Portuguese 12 string, okay? If you click that eye up there or the link in the description box, it'll take you to my website because I always do articles on these songs that I, that I teach. And I kind of go into depth about the instrument there involved. So some people thought it was a Vecilia, Portuguese 12 string, but it, as it turns out, uh, it looks to me more like it's a Spanish a 12 string called a lot and he's got it tuned really weird um, it's not that weird actually but it's difficult for to get this tuning on a guitar but I'll show you how I did it so it's E B E B E G sharp all right so it's root 5 root 5 root and then the third is on the top okay but you'll notice I've got a capo one here because if you try to tune your guitar to that in standard tuning, uh, well, what happened to me was I snapped my G string, okay? Because you gotta go up from G, A, B, right? You're going way up. So what I did is I tuned my guitar without the capo to D, A, D, A, D, F sharp, right? That sounds out of tune because I'm tuned for the capo on the second fret. So now I put my capo on and now we're there, right? E, B, E, B, E, G sharp. All right, so that's the tuning. Straighten this out. And I've seen a few guys teaching this, but unless you get the right tuning, it's just not going to sound right. It's going to be missing something. All right, so we're going to start like this. It's all hybrid pick, so we've, I've got a sharp pick here. It's like a one millimeter. Uh, I don't know. Can you see that? Uh, yeah, it's not focusing. Anyways, so one millimeter. Um, hard pick with that pointy uh, pointy edge, right? It really helps to be precise with your picking. So we're going to start like this. We're going to get our first, or sorry, our second and third finger. Second finger on the B string, third finger on the E string. And we're just going to pick those two notes. And then we're going to bring in the pick and we're going to hammer that on. So that we've got all three there, right? G, B, and E. And that's like, that's a basically an A minor, but just down a string. So that's your first figure. All right. And then we kind of do it again. Da, 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 da. So I would just practice that to start. do that so we're sliding up here to the fifth fret from the capo right fifth fret and we've just got that you know really common shape that's g5 e5 g4 e3 right and that's hybrid pick pick on the g middle finger on the high e and we really want to keep that b string ringing Killed it there a bit. Uh, because if we do kill it, right, it's just gonna, like, the whole thing dies. But if we let it ring, it just stays alive, you know, and it just sounds beautiful. And now we're gonna go. So we're just arpeggiating back on the open strings. B, G, and then when we hit the D, we're also going to hit the B with our middle finger. And then we're going to go back to this. So we end it different. So pull off, D2 to open. Pluck, uh, open D and open B. 
can be with our middle finger. And now we're going to play this chord. So we've just got D4 and G2, open B, open E. And the first pick is the D string and the high E. And then it's just arpeggiating back. D string, G string, D string. Now we're back to this. Except now we're going to climb it up. It's just that, two frets up. All right, and now we're heading into the last lick, which is the trickiest. And we're going to come up here to the 10th fret. I mean, it's the 12th fret without the capo, but from the capo, it's the 10th. And we've got the G string and the E string. And I like to do it with my first and second fingers. I've got an open B there. So the first, I'll just play it. Okay, it's tricky. So G and E, and then E, open B. All right, so just practice that. And now we're going to go. And just a tip here, anytime you hit this note, which is the 15th um, from the nut, but it would be the 13th from the capo. Anytime we hit that note, we're also hitting uh, the G string with our pick. Probably the trickiest part, so. We're just dropping that down a fret. Open B, and then we're back up here to the 13th, and every time we hit the 13th, we hit the G as well, right? And then the open B, G, is your last move. And then we're into the singing, okay? So let's try that whole intro real slow. It. Up to speed. Okay, that is really tricky. I had to practice that a lot because it's not just the picking, it's the timing too. The timing is strange. Um, but it's Really, I didn't even think about counting it. I just thought about the patterns, right? And that worked for me. Okay, it's been 12 minutes just on the intro. <laughs> but it's tricky, and that is really what this lesson is about. Because after that, you just got... It's just those three chords, right? Open, and that A minor shape. Right down the string, right A minor there, down the string, and up two frets, back down. And with this strumming pattern.
kind of hit the open while we move up to that. And you know, it's so simple, but it sounds so beautiful in this tuning. And then the only other chord is when it goes all the way up to there. So. So that's it for the rhythm guitar part. Now, in my demo, I played the melody, and I put in some drums and bass just to kind of fill it out and make it a make it sound good. You know, I always try to make my demos sound good, um, so they're you know nice to listen to, I guess. Um, so it's I'm not going to go into great detail on this because it. It's just picking the notes of the melody and just finding them. And it's really easy to find them in this tuning. Get the harmonies in there. Getting that open E in there while I slide up. the whole thing in harmony. And then the ending I went. So I'm, you know, open B string the whole time. And then just uh, pull off four, two, open. And then just. super dead easy and you know it doesn't need a lot of teaching if you get your guitar in this tuning you'll be able to find those notes and I did a harmony so That's second fret A and then fifth fret G uh, D <laughs> Like I say, you get your guitar in this tuning, you'll be able to find that melody really easy. I mean, if you even want to play it. I think mostly you're... probably just want to play the intro and sing along right such a such a cool song anyways that's it for this one I hope you enjoy the lesson I hope it helps you to play it and if you you know tune down a whole step and use the capo on second on the second you can play along with the record and pretty sure you won't break a string I mean it depends how old your strings are I can't guarantee you won't but you probably won't if your strings are fairly new you should be fine okay thanks for watching um, and we'll see you next time